Hi, I'm Mackenzie Mills and I'm a technical content writer here at Blue Marble Geographics. Um, I actually started with the company about three years ago and in technical support as an application specialist. Um, I originally found GIS in college when I took a world geography course and I just really liked the idea of you know, combining the artistry of maps and cartography with the technical components and software um, provided by GIS. Um, and so I ended up majoring in it. I am an application support specialist here at Blue Marble Geographics. I chose this position because during my master's research I realized that I liked working with the data more than I liked finding a reason to work with the data and especially more than finding funding to work with the data. So here with this position I get to not only mess around with GIS all day but I get to help people improve their own data and their own processes and make GIS better. Hi, I'm currently a software developer here at Blue Marble, working primarily on the Geographic Calculator and the core GeoCalc libraries. I got into this work through mathematics, which was my undergraduate and graduate degree, and I've just always loved geometry and how we can use the language of math to describe the universe, and this is a chance for me to put that into practice. I currently work in quality assurance and quality control for Blue Marble Geographics. And this is a, a role that supports the development of Blue Marble's software products, primarily through testing. Um, I originally became interested in maps as a child. Uh, I, was, I was really interested in them because they provided me a frame of reference to understand people and how they navigated uh, their environment. Um, when I was in college, uh, early on, I took a couple classes on cartographic production and design, so traditional cartography, and I just kind of fell in love with it. And my mom is the one who encouraged me to pursue GIS. Working in GIS, which is a technology industry, um, means that it is a male-dominated industry and you know women can sometimes feel like their voices aren't heard or appreciated in these spheres. Um, so women starting out in this field, in any technology field, I would say just keep putting your voice out there, keep voicing your opinion, um, know that people will hear you and they should appreciate you and just keep talking and keep fighting for what you think you deserve. Um, no more than any other woman in, in the tech industry has. I, as a master's student, I did have the rare opportunity to have a cohort that was entirely women. That's something that men get to experience quite frequently, especially in the tech industry, but to just be surrounded by other women and to have quite a few women professors in the geography department was, was actually quite nice. It gave me a lot of confidence. Yes, I think the biggest challenge has been uh, just advocating for myself and being confident in my abilities. I think. We're often socialized to be humble, and while that can be a good thing, it can also hold you back. And so I have been very grateful over the years to my supervisors and colleagues who've made me uh, recognize my accomplishments and valued my contributions, which has led me to be able to be a lot more confident now. Yes, and my advice is to keep pushing. Um, in undergrad, quite, quite the conflict with my master's experience, I was the only girl there and I did face a lot of systemic sexism within, um, within my undergraduate department. And, and this is something that I had verified with people who had come before me as being systemic. And I pushed through it and brought, this brought, brought it to the attention of other people and called it out when it happened in class and it was really uncomfortable. But in the end, um, things were better for the women who came after me, even through the awkwardness. So keep, so keep pushing to make it better for yourself and to make it better for others. So my advice to young people entering the field today would be to be confident, to advocate for yourself and, and not be afraid to value your contributions, uh, I, even to the extent of keeping a list to remind yourself of what you've done that you're proud of. Um, and I'd also ask for people maybe a little further ahead, not beginners, to keep that in mind when you're looking at what you can do with your own power and influence to help those people who are a little further down on the ladder. Uh, so my first piece of advice is to have confidence in yourself. It's easy to feel like the work you do or the ideas you bring to the table aren't good enough per se. Speaking for myself anyway, I've found that I'm often standing in my own way, uh, maybe because I'm anxious or I feel the need to perfect whatever I'm working on before I put it out in the world, but finishing something is more important. Um, and it's more important than being perfect. 
Uh, you'll also go through a learning process when you complete a project that gives you new skills and ideas, which makes you better prepared for the next task or uh, project that you're working on.